This is the unit, and if you could see, there's no line showing a max or a low level. When you open it up, there's one of the little freezer bottles in there. I've been using it in the water. It's really nice. I really have enjoyed this. It closes very simple. The back wheels have locks on them. I don't know if you could see them. And um, the carpeting, of course, keeps it really in tack there and, and nobody's here and then also too the only thing is that the cord is not a really long cord sometimes they do shrink cords for I don't know I guess reasons for electrical reasons but I did have to add you know an extension cord to it because my plugs way over there but other than that I'm the only one really in the house so there's no big issue here also too let me see sorry I need to get up And let me go around this way. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> My leg fell asleep. <laughs> and here is the unit. And you can use it with the remote control. And it works really awesome with the remote control. No problems. Just kind of memorize what your hours and everything are. And you know how many times to hit it. But this is your off and on button. And then you can hit your timer for 30 minutes. Oh, let me turn this on. Sorry. And then you can uh, use your speeds. And if you could see... That's not loud at all. That is really low key. I love that. And not just that, you have your hours. It's going to be 30 minutes, an hour, two hours, or four. But it never really goes too much into that. What I think it gives you is two and a half hours. But um, you have your swing and all your other little things here. Now your modes, you know, normal, natural, sleeping. So, you know, I make my son make sure that he only gives himself an hour once he's going to be going to bed because he blew the other one out or two hours, but we make sure that it's filled to its max and it got everything in there. Now, there is one thing I didn't put in the writing. Put your freezer bottle in there first before you put your water because if you know and everybody knows, when you put something in there, it's going to bring the level water up, right? The level of the water up. So make sure you put your freezer bottles in there first and then fill up your unit to the max. I believe on the max, it's probably where your door, this is probably gonna be your max line right here. I believe it's right here because there is a small little, almost like a discoloration here. And I think that's your, when it's low, like an icy color. And then here will be your max. It seems like that's what it's showing on the pictures, okay? So this is where the back parting of it is, and it's real easy just to take off to clean it. But I really love this unit, and like I said, I mean, even with this, that is not loud at all. Compared to the $300 one my son blew out, that it was loud. It was a pain. But, you know, with this one, it's, it's really nice. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to get the remote control. The remote control uses uh, the AAA batteries. It's a pretty handsome remote control. So, you know, you could turn it on here. Unit goes on. And then um, you can go to very cold. These are your little cold units. And then your, um, your swings. Everything is on here that's actually here. So it's no issue at all. So we're going to turn that on. I got to get back a little bit here. And then you can go to your little ice one. And there the little dots went on right there. Okay. And then you go to your hour timer. There's your 30, your hour, your two hour, your hour and a half, two hour, two and a half hours. Oh, I got it now. And then you got your three hour. And then at three and a half hour, now I'm getting that, and then four hour. Hey, you know what? We're learning together here. That is amazing. I just realized that. Okay. It's just that I just got it yesterday, and all I wanted to do was cool off. So all I did was give it a two hour and sat down and watched some movies and enjoyed those, and it was pretty cool. Now, let me walk you over here to my freezer. Let me tell you what I was talking about. Here is the little bottle. And as you can see, if I turn it a little sideways, you could tell it kind of like 
looks pregnated or nipples you see there so make sure they're flat I didn't have enough room in the freezer I had to move things around so I had stood them up like this and sure enough um, I noticed that it kind of nippled you see that like little round area so lay them flat and then this I made also and what I did was I just got the big zip lock bags the real big ones and I filled it halfway with water and then I let them freeze a little bit then I put these clips on there and folded it really well to make a really nice tight ice one. And then I'll take these off, you know, and it's ready to put in the unit if I need to. And see, just folded it in half and it makes a really good solid just to make sure there's always one there because sometimes when I take out the blue ones, I do. Yeah, I put it on the cabinet and forget to put it back in the freezer. So I'm... Uh, sometimes do stuff like that because I'm so extremely busy I'll just toss it and this will be my emergency pack just in case I do something like that but this is a very handsome unit I was making sure with my flashlight here that it didn't have written on there because I did not want to misrepresent the company but I didn't see no markings uh, you can mark them yourself or just know that that dark you know right where you open it up there you want to make sure that that's going to be your max but it is a nice unit, and you don't hear it, do ya? Man, this is nice, I just love it. And there's where your water levels and stuff are right there, okay? But I do love this thing. I am gonna buy another one for the other uh, bedroom um, where my son sleeps because this is for the front room here. I had the swamp cooler, that swamp cooler doesn't get anything cold other than you standing under it I wanted something that was going to be nice for this summer and um, you don't have all that mold or whatever that comes through there you know in the swamp coolers these are seem to be clean looks like it'd be an easy clean it gives you instructions for easy cleaning it seems like it would be a very easy thing to maintain and um, yes I'm definitely going to be buying me another one waiting for that income tax check and I'm going to rip up another one. Um, I was kind of worried because it was taking so long to come in, but it actually came in three days earlier than what stated. I should have got this this coming Wednesday. So when we seen it coming in, we were real happy. And it does, people. It freezes your rooms up pretty quick. And me just standing here, my legs are already starting to get kind of cold. So anyway, is this one worth it? Absolutely. Thank you, Amazon. Thank you, seller. Stay cool, stay safe, stay healthy.